What's up guys, it's Sam here with Stolt Fitness. So I know it's been about 30 days and I do apologize for that. I've had a lot going on over the last 30 days. Had some visitors, my brother and his girlfriend came out. That was a lot of fun and a blessing. I was traveling on the mainland for about a week and my knee has been bothering me. Although that has nothing to do with making videos. So anyways, I wanted to give you guys an update on my cut and how my progress has been going. Now with that being said, it's been about 65 days as of today, which is April 5th from February 1st. So currently I am down, let me turn this down a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see. So still got a little ways to go. It's only been about 65 days. I'm down 15 pounds even as of today. But definitely noticed a lot of difference. So I definitely noticed a lot of difference. My my lifts, uh, the they actually haven't decreased too much in strength wise. The strengths actually my bench has increased in the first uh, month or so and it stayed about consistent. So I wasn't doing sets on incline with 245 for three or four or five sets. And now, before I started cutting, before February 1st, now I'm doing sets with 245 on incline for you know generally about three, four sets of eight or 10. So I noticed that going up. Uh, my current gym situation is at my office. Uh, has a good amount of equipment, but there's not a ton of back equipment. So I've been using a lot of variety of different things. However, I don't feel like I have a very good routine for my back currently. So anyways, uh, yeah, so down 15 pounds. Now I've had a couple questions about my diet. I'm still at 4,000 calories a day. And uh, what that consists of is generally speaking, so I cut out the shakes in the morning and I'm having 10 egg whites for breakfast. That's all, no carbs, first thing in the morning. So get up, get to the gym between 5.15 and 5.45, have my 10 egg whites on the way to the gym. Generally, I'll just drink them. <clears throat> Actually, almost always I drink them. It saves me so much time. Just grab the carton, have my prep, prepped food, drink it in the car on the way to the gym. I will get to the gym, I will do cardio in the morning, and I will do cardio in the afternoon, and I will also work out in the morning and afternoon. Between both cardio sessions, I'm looking to burn somewhere between six to 800 calories per day. That's generally gonna progress upwards till I feel like I'm where I wanna be. Uh, so my next, that that is so, my first meal, which is a 10 night whites, is somewhere between 515-ish and 545. I start work at seven. So as I mentioned, my gym is at my job. So it takes me about 10, 15 minutes to shower and walk into my office at about that time, which is somewhere between getting to the office and 730, I will have my first snack, which is two ounces of nuts, one of cashew and one of peanuts. Nine o'clock rolls around, I'll have my first meal. Now, the three meals at 9, 11-ish, and 2-ish. Also, I moved up all the times for my meals slightly, about an hour. So anyway, the, the, those next three meals are almost always identical. So lately I've been using ground beef. So I'll have one pound of ground beef and about a pound of chicken. Generally, it's slightly less, about 14 ounces of chicken. And one cup of organic peas spread out between three meals. So... It's 91% lean beef, and I'll split that between the three containers, and then the 14 ounces of chicken I'll split between the three containers, and I'll just put it on top of a bed of organic peas. I'll have those, in, uh, one at nine, one at 11, and one at two. Uh, right after my workout, I've been having two scoops of protein, which is 54 grams of protein and 260 calories. Then I will come home and I will eat again do some studying, meal prep for the next day, and have my last meal at that time. 
Um, I also do regiment my sleep, so I go to bed at almost a, the same time every single night. If you know what time you are going to be getting up in the morning, and you want to say get seven hours of sleep, just go, if you're getting up at 7 a.m., then count backwards and you have to go to bed by midnight. Very, very simple. So I want eight hours every night, so I get into bed at nine, and I get up around five, maybe slightly before, maybe slightly afterwards. Yes, yeah, so if you guys have any questions, you know where to leave them. If you like this video, you know what button to press. And subscribe to see other videos like this in the future, or hopefully better than this one. <laughs>